back of week number 48. This week I'm going to tear into a Sony Handycam. Well, not really tear into it. I'm going to use some tools to take it apart. But I'll bet there's all kinds of really cool hackable things in here. There's a few things right off that I can think of I would say. That would be the battery holder, the uh, lithium-ion battery, and somewhere around here I have the charger. Someone gave this to me. It works okay, but the format is so outdated. Uh, that my uh, camera I use right here to record all my Hackaway videos is a much better quality camera than this. Uh, so, anyway, lens, uh, the bright light in the front, that might be fun. I can hack that onto my existing digital camera. There's bound to be all kinds of wonderful mechanisms in here that I can keep. So, let's uh, see what we can do. Start taking this thing apart and discovering all the goodies there are. Ooh, nice little LCD. Sony puts a little arrow right next to the screw if it's a screw that needs to be removed to gain access to the inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pull every screw that I have access to. Just throw in this thing. something holding over here pretty good. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta pull. Okay. Well, interesting. So once we've got all those perimeter screws out, you can see everything just starts to go to pieces real quick. So here's the lens assembly, the CCD is probably right there and that would be the part where I would want to substitute that to another camera for instance this Panasonic uh, it might be kind of fun to pull the lens assembly off this right at the CCD substitute this lens assembly and of course I'll have to figure out how it would move for focus and zoom so let's see if we can get this out now in one piece There's that. It's a lens assembly. Ooh, I see you. Let's check out that CCD, shall we? Let's get it all dirty. It was probably put in there in a clean room, and in five seconds flat, it's going to be way out of spec for dirt. <laughs> That's lovely. Whoops. That's good for it. Dropping it like that. Well, here's an interesting little spin. I can't see a thing through this lens. Does that mean it has an aperture? <coughs> okay, this crazy lens that I can't see through. Let's see if we can figure out why. Let's get the stepper motors off and see what's going on inside there. axis of control. This may be the shutter. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yes, indeed. I called it. It's the shutter. Now I can see through my lens. So I could pull that shutter out. And put the holder back in. That'll seal up the camera from light from the side. And then I can uh, still use the lens like I wanted to on another CCD. Okay, how about we take this camera apart. Take the CCD from here and see if we can mount it in the back of here 
and we will have a 20 times optical zoom lens on a digital webcam. Why? Because. There we go, 20x zoom on a tiny little webcam. Let's plug it into the uh, computer and check it out. Wow, that looks a bit menacing, doesn't it? There it is, highly modified webcam with a giant 20x optical zoom lens on it. I've got it connected to my desktop computer and the image is currently on screen. And I'm going to just point the camera at that and show you what we've got here. This is uh, kind of cool. It worked out pretty good, actually. There's uh, two adjustments on the thing. There's a focus and a zoom, right? So let's, uh, let's focus on the focus for starters. It's very sensitive, as you can see. Just the tiniest little movement on my part is making a huge difference on screen but the neat thing about this is I've got a lot of depth of field going on here which is kinda neat for uh, photography purposes and I could hook this up with the stepper motors again do a little work on those and figure out how to encode them and have a little controller and this could actually end up being a pretty neat remote cam uh, that I could control the, uh, the zoom and the focus from elsewhere but this is about, uh, let's see, okay, that's it. I'm touching the actual lens of the camera right now. And I can get in there and focus sharp right on the part that's touching the lens, which is pretty amazing. It would make a, a pretty cool macro camera. But again, it's really, really sensitive on the focus. And uh, let me show you again the depth of field. <clears throat> I can focus here, up close and I can also focus off there in the distance if I'm really careful there we go okay let's check out the zoom um, I can't tell you how tricky it is to focus this thing it is so super touchy but anyway let's now zoom in to uh, my kitchen go all almost all the way there and I'll be at the point where I'm in focus again that's a little tricky like I said there we go about 20x, 20 times optical zoom. What's my robot doing out there in the kitchen? Snooping for food again, no doubt. Yep. Let's try zooming back out a little bit. And then we have to refocus if you want to stop there. That might be kind of fun to get the uh, stepper motors working again. So anyway, there you go. 
you can indeed take a very large lens from an old camera that's out of date. Not so old really, but that, uh, that Sony Handycam, yeah, people just don't use them much anymore. And you can put it on a, uh, a webcam and get some pretty good results. And be able to uh, do some nice pictures with some depth of field to them and stuff. So anyway, there you go. Well, that's it for this week's hack. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something about repurposing lenses and sticking them on other devices. I encourage you to give it a try. Lots of fun. And uh, until next time, keep on hacking. Thank <laughs> you.